Welcome to You're Not the Boss of Me. If you are determined to break glass ceilings and build it your way, this show is for you. I'm your host, Beth Graves, and I am obsessed with helping you to not just dream it, but make the plan, connect the dots, and create what you crave. Are you ready? Let's get started. Welcome back, bosses. In this episode, we are going to unlock the big mystery. Are you ready? How to regain momentum in your network marketing business. This was the number one thing when I did a poll that people wanted to hear about. And so I'm going to give you five ways to relaunch, to regain momentum, and to start to feel excited again about what it is that you're doing. Okay. Are you ready? Get out a pen and paper if you're not driving or if you're not at the gym. But number one, make a decision and have a little gratitude celebration. So this is what Susan Hyatt, one of my coaches, calls her happy bucket. And this is what I first want you to do in order to get ready to relaunch. Instead of going right into action, I want you to go over the gratitude, the reason why you started, the people that you've helped. I want you to really, really spend some time why you love what you do, why you made that choice. Even if you haven't met your goals, even if it's slowed down, even if it doesn't feel as though you are achieving at the speed that you had hoped, I want you to go into gratitude. I want you to find all of the reasons why you started, why you are excited, the success that you've had, the experiences that you've had and why you love doing what you are doing. That is key because if people feel your energy is not in belief that it's outside of this high vibe, I'm excited, I can't wait to share, I'm loving this product, most of the time what happens is that's what your result is. Like seriously, if someone comes over to your table and you're ordering key lime pie, you're super excited for the key lime pie. And the waiter says to you, oh my gosh, this is the very best key lime pie. It is going to knock your socks off. It is the perfect texture. It has enough of a sour twist to it. In fact, when Oprah was in Key West, this is the first place that she came to get this key lime pie. You're you're ordering key lime pie unless you don't like key lime pie. But if the waiter's like, "Ah, I don't know, Mm, I would, it's not my favorite you probably aren't going to be that excited for the key lime pie, right? So the energy and the excitement around what it is that you're doing, people can feel it. People know it. Are you consistently showing up with that level of excitement? Meaning if you have lost momentum, take a look at some of the things that are happening. Are you showing up to the team Zooms, to the team events, to knowing what's going on? Are you plugging in or are you unplugged? Are you in a circle with people that are, causing you doubt, insecurity, making you think that it doesn't work, talking about people that are having success, making excuse for their success instead of celebrating the people that are winning. Okay. So look at all of the components as you go into this gratitude rush, this rush of gratitude about your business, and then kind of take a look at, okay, maybe I'm not having momentum because I've come and gone. I haven't been showing up. Perhaps you used to share transformation in your stories or celebrations in your stories for your business for 60 straight days. And people are like, wow, like she really loves what she does. Like I'm watching her on this Zoom and she's celebrating her friend, Sarah, who just earned this great thing. And oh, look at that. She's sharing about gut health. That's what she does. And then all of a sudden you're sharing about something totally out of the blue or not sharing at all or not showing up. That would be like opening a store for business and literally not turning on the lights. So as we break down why you're out of momentum, I know you want to get back into momentum, but I want to really have you do some reflection because the things that keep you moving forward are the consistency. Remembering that even though you're building a business online, if you aren't showing up, and I'm not talking Spamala Pamela all over the place, sharing company graphics and being annoying, I'm talking about staying consistent with what your mission and your vision is and the content that you're putting out on social media. So if you're like the health girl and you're always talking about gut health and you're talking about ways that you can increase your health level in your life, 
And maybe you talk about intermittent fasting and breaking your fast with your X, Y, and Z product, but suddenly you're talking about, I don't know, cats, memes, your latest and greatest movie that you saw, which I love, but nothing is showing up. You haven't turned the lights on in your business. Then your momentum is definitely going to tank. And it's also going to tank if you allow yourself to be in that spiral of doubt. So I want you to take a look at that. The other reason that people get out of momentum is they literally get off track with all of the foundation work, which is fueling your brain with positive affirmations. Have you updated your vision board? Have you updated your dream board, your vision board for your business and for your life? Have you set aside time that actually is for income producing activities, making connections, valuable content, taking those connections and having conversations, inviting those conversations to take a look, letting people actually know what it is that you do? Or are you just kind of out there thinking, "Eh, they know what I do. Maybe they'll come to me. The other piece is follow up. Okay. If you have customers or when you have customers, when you have team members, Are you consistently showing up in some way, shape, or form to serve, to give value, to check in on how they're doing with your product or your service? Or are you just kind of like not treating it like a business? Because there's a lot of competition out there. And if you aren't impeccable, they're not showing up for you again. They'll place an order, but those are the pieces that I want you to think about. So if you're making a CEO shift in your business, which I talk about the CEO framework for network marketers. Your marketing and visibility is huge, but also how you serve, nurture, and connect is even bigger. So I want you to think about those things. And then I want you to go into an all-out gratitude blitz about why you love this business. I want you to write a letter to your business. I want you to write a letter for the gratitude that you have, for the friends that you've met, for the growth, the personal development that you've had. Maybe you found this podcast because you're a network marketer, you're an online business. Maybe a podcast has helped you. How have you grown since starting your business? How has your circle evolved? And put those things down. Because before I started in network marketing, I didn't have a gratitude practice. I didn't have a practice of writing down my goals and giving them a time frame and making a promise to myself. So in all areas, personal goals, health goals, business goals, What I came to learn about through network marketing is a huge, 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 huge reward, right? So as you write this down, then I want you to come up with an affirmation about moving your business forward. So perhaps as I take action with faith and clarity, having affirmations around abundance, we have some great affirmations over in Camp Elevate around abundance, and you could grab those over there. But I love to even go to Pinterest, you guys, when I'm looking for new affirmations and ideas, I I love Pinterest. So create some affirmations around what is going to happen in your business. And then you've got, you know, you've got to make the decision. I'm in momentum. Then define what does momentum look like? Does it mean four new customers? Does it mean getting two new business builders? And then say, okay, to get back into momentum, I will blank at this time blank on this day, blank, in this space, blank, okay? So remember that you're setting that intention that goes back to atomic habits. We know that you have a 91%, I think that's what the percentage was, bigger chance of having that success if you actually write it down. So you've got to state it, you've got to claim it. And then you're going to make space, make space for this momentum, okay? Once you to decide, I'm in. How does this happen? So I love to kick things off with some sort of official event and you can do this on Facebook. Maybe you have some friends. If you have a new product, like I even still like my neighbors, they know when we have a new product that comes out, if, if they can like test it and try it on and put it on their skin, I might even like say, Hey, come on over. I need some testers over here. That's going to bring momentum because the more people that I touch with the business, the more momentum that I will have. But I love to relaunch and launch and help customers with an event that is set up on Facebook. So you take a Facebook group and it's called a launch event. And I know many of you have been like, I'm invited to a million groups. Like this is just the same thing over and over again. Catch that language right there. If all of a sudden when I said launch event and your brain went, I've already tried that, I've already done it, it didn't work. 
That's the biggest thing that's going wrong is I want you to say, oh my gosh, this launch event, it is going to be awesome because so many people will be able to experience and see for themselves what is happening with this product. So I'm going to give you an example of a friend of mine and she sells a joint supplement for dogs and horses, okay? And she has a new person launching their business. So she's like, okay, this is really exciting because we're going to get all your friends in one place. You are never going to leave your house. They are going to see for themselves the results that they will have by purchasing this product. Are you ready? It's exciting. Let's go. Let me tell you how this works. So I keep it very, very short. I like to be in and out of the launch party within literally set it up in a day, have one day that the videos, the testimonials start to drop and ask for engagement, and then announce that the next day there's going to be a giveaway. There's going to be some sort of big celebration and it's going to take place at this time. Are they in? And then there's some sort of video or giveaway before we close up that event. Because if you carry them on for two weeks, people don't know what's going on. So in the launch event, I love to show my newest business partner. So in this event where we were showing how to help animals to have healthier joints, they're using this joint performance product and they're seeing great results. You see a dog that goes from, you know, not being very sound to being sound, which means they're no longer limping. And you help your newest person to reach out and ask the question. So on Facebook, adding to groups now is more complicated because people have to accept being in. So I literally walk my newest person and I'll walk you through this is set up the event, put in the cover photo, name it something fun and cool, not have your company name in it and find that list of people that you know have been watching that you know may be on the edge, or if they're brand new, that would have an interest. And let them know, say, hey, I'm launching my business, or hey, I have this incredible event. It's going to just be one day. I would love for you to take a look because may I add you, and would you participate in our giveaway and in taking a look at what you know how our joint supplement is really helping dogs? So however you ask, Make sure that you ask and you're like, I'm excited. It's going to be a super fast event, but we're going to be doing some giveaways. You're going to get a lot of information. And by the end, you're going to know if this is for you or not. I'm really excited because I know you have a big connection with your dogs or whatever. So you're inviting people in to take a look. And I always say too, and have five to 10 friends that you're like, hey, I am really excited for this event. And I would love to have you inside of it to help me. It's kind of like when you're having a party and you don't want to have like the person you don't know show up first. So your neighbors are like the sit in the seats for the Emmy Awards. If nobody's there, does that make sense? It's late when I'm recording this. So so you're probably like, what is she talking about? All right. So have an event of some sort. And there are all different ways to do this. But the way that I do it is short and simple. I help with the invite. What I do is I add to the invite and I have a great video or a great testimonial to start and I will ask for engagement right away. So let's say that I'm asking my friend Rhonda to come into my event. I'm going to send her the message and say, hey, let me know if this is cool. And she's going to say, okay, sure, I'll come into your event. And then I add her, I copy and paste. You have to do it from a desktop these days. It might change if you're listening to this later. It hasn't been working for my phone. So I add her to the event. I copy the domain of the Facebook group and you can actually change in the settings so it can have a custom name. So just go ahead into your settings. You can Google that. It's easy to do. And I send it over to Messenger and I say, click here, go ahead and accept the invite. And then as soon as she accepts the invite, I'm back to say, I've just tagged you in the very first giveaway or the very first post. So what I like to do in my events is People love to go in and get things for free. Let's face it, we all want something for free. So I do some giveaways in the events, and but I'm giving valuable information. I'm like, I am going to share with you why I'm excited, what problem this product solves, and I'd love for you to come and be a part of the very last 15-minute video that's going to be live, and we're going to be doing a big giveaway as well because who doesn't love a party that doesn't go home with a great party favor? So 
I communicate and I teach the person that I'm launching the difference and the secret sauce in this is consistently staying in touch, asking questions. So in the first video for this launch event, it's the video of the dog that literally starts to limp in the first one. And after three loading doses of this product is completely walking and trotting fine. So I will say, hey, did you catch that first video? Did you see how great Yogi looked after the three loading doses? What did you think? Have you ever used glucosamine in your animals before? Having the conversation. And I let my person know that the interaction, the connection, the tagging is the most important part. So during this launch event, we are pretty present because this is the chance to get people with eyes on the product. So there's also ways to automate your launch events. You can, the next one is, and I, you know, go over to Messenger and say, okay, so coming up at the end of the day today at six o'clock, we have a veterinarian that's talking about the benefits of using this joint performance product. It's super short and brief, but you are going to love what he says. Now, if the veterinarian, if I'm launching six or seven people and the veterinarian is not seriously going to be able to be live in every event, you can use one stream live, which is awesome. And you can literally take a video from one stream live. And I'm going to give you a link for one stream live in the show notes so that if you want to sign up for it, you can use my link and you can take a video from one stream live and literally schedule it into your Facebook party to drop at a certain time. So it looks live. You can actually use one stream live to drop videos at any time into groups onto your pages. So they look live. I do most of the time like being live because I like the interaction, but there are many times that I want to put content into groups. I want to drop it live. I can videotape on one stream live. And then if you have an authority someone like the veterinarian that is going to share inside of this Facebook launch party, you can drop that with one stream live. The key to this launch event is you're, you're actually doing something that's big. So you can do a launch event, which is inside of a Facebook group. You continue to communicate, you reach back out, you tag them, you follow up with, Hey, I'd love for you to get started. You're actually getting engagement in the group. And then you're coming back out and you walk away with many leads because anybody that has allowed you to add them to the group is officially a lead that's looking at your business. And then we can nurture that remembering that we might have to do some follow-up. The other thing that I love to do to create momentum with a launch is to do blitz, a blitz. So if you are relaunching your business, and we talked about this last week on the recruiting, Recruit and Grow Rich, is I love to get a group of people together on my Zoom that are also looking. So if you have four people in your downline or 4,000 people, just say, hey, this week, let's all, you know, I'm hopping on, I'm committed to getting momentum back in my business. I'm looking for, you know, two new customer orders. I'm going to give you the exact steps to be able to do this. Get them on. People want to know that they can have the steps. So we get on the Zoom and literally we share. What here's what we're inviting to. Remember last week for the recruit and grow rich, we were inviting to the pop up video series. When you are asking, it's much easier to invite to take a look, have them take a look, and then ask questions. And if they haven't watched the video, let them know. Say, like, listen, I'd love for you to take a look. Here's the link. Let me know when you've watched it. I can answer all of your questions. So on that blitz, we are all like committing to, okay, who are the people that we've connected with this week? Who are the people on our list who, you know, on that warm list, we're taking a look at who can get the invite. Here's the thing. If you are going to make money and grow and be a momentum, you've got to do an invite. So there's a lot of strategy. The others that you can use to get people putting up their hand. And I, I love to have people showing up in my inbox. So the other way that we show momentum is we can do a blitz in our stories. We can just have like a one day that we're sharing story after story after story of transformation. And you can say, you know, maybe three different storyboards that are talking about transformation, talking about benefits, asking a question in your polls on your social media. Would you like an invite? We're going to be sharing 10 ways that you can do X, Y, and Z with X, Y, and Z. Are you in? And so you can get people to put up their hand. So Knowing this, 
when you are in relaunch mode, you've got to have a strategy of how are you reaching out? How are you connecting? How are you getting back started again? So I, like I said, I love to do it in one big event. I think it's like a pep rally. So I would encourage you as you relaunch to do what I was telling you to do, which is get into gratitude about your business. Why did you join it? Why are you loving it? What is the very best thing? What have you gained? All of those pieces. Then have affirmations and vision around what it is that you're building Get very specific about what does that relaunch look like? If you're just like, I'm going to relaunch my business and get back into momentum. The reason why people have success in the first few weeks of their network marketing business is they have a specific goal. So most people have a quick start bonus of some sort. And so they're like, okay, I need two orders. I need this volume. I need this. Okay. Click, 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 done, 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 because you're working for that first reward. So I would create that specific plan. Like I said, write it down. What is the specific plan? What does momentum look like for you? The other thing I would encourage you to do is to reach out to a mentor, to a leader, to an accountability partner and say, let's make this plan together. I am determined to do X, Y, and Z. And here's my plan. What do you think? And so coming up with how does that look? The other thing I want you to think about is when you were in momentum, if you were in momentum, what was your day looking like? When you are in momentum, how many reach outs, how many Zooms, going back to what looked successful for you. And you know, I am all about a daily business journal. I've talked about this before that Every single day of your business, you put a date at the top and you write down, here's what I did today. Here were my money-making activities. Here's what I'm inviting to. Here are my affirmations around my business. And you can actually look back and see what results you were getting from what activity. That's the piece that I think is missing is we blindly just go out and say, oh, I'm going to use TikTok to build my business. Oh, I'm going to use my Instagram stories. Oh, I'm going to post here. I'm going to use the Facebook group strategy that for growth. I'm going to do live events in my home. I'm going to set up in the hair salon. All of those things work. Anytime you get visibility, exposure, a way to share, a way to connect, a way to have conversations, you are going to have success in your business. But I love to look at my customers and say, What was it? What was the reach out? How was I first connected? How did they find me? How did I get that sale? Same thing for your business partners. Look, you are a CEO. You need to know the strategies and what worked. So look at the last person that you sponsored into your business. What was the conversation? Where did you meet? What made them say yes? Do you ever ask? I always ask. I always say, what was it? that made you want to say yes, that made you want to reach out. We have a promoter on our team that she saw a video that was a Facebook Live where I was interviewing the person that sponsored her and she had met her in a Facebook group. And she was like, oh, that's interesting. Building businesses from home. So what was it? And go back and break down. What was the piece of marketing that made them put up their hand and say, what was it a Facebook post? Was it an offer for samples? Was it a personal reach out? What was it that made you put up your hand and say yes? And if it worked that time, it will most likely work again. So I want you to be someone that dissects their business. There are so many times that we see something that is flashy that catches our eye. There are so many times that we think we need the perfect script. But if we really look and say, what was it that I was doing? So I'll encourage you, to look at your success stories and think, how did that lead? How did that person come to me? How did I ask? How did they say yes? And then look at those people that have had success in your business. Many times it's because they've got the will and the desire and the drive. Some of the most successful people that have joined me, I had no idea what I was doing when they got started. I have no idea how we hit those first bonuses, but there was flat out burning desire, drive, determination, and goals. So that's the last piece is I want you to know your goals. I want you to have the end game in mind. If you just have the treading water game, let's see what happened games. I guess maybe I'll do a game. I don't really think that anybody gets to the top rank of the company game. I will tell you this. That's why you're treading water. You make a decision. You make a plan. You write the roadmap. When you write the roadmap of this is what I'm going to accomplish this at this time, this many customers this month, this many business builders, 
These are the people in my business that are going to do X, Y, and Z. This will bring me to this rank. When you break it down and you have those goals in mind, you will be back into momentum. So last thing that I want you to do to get back into momentum is give an invite to people that may also be sitting a little bit stagnant. Reach out and say to them, hey, I'm making a run. This is an exciting time, X, Y, Z. Are you in? Do you want to come along with me? Invite people to come along with you. If they decide to come along with you or when they decide to come along with you, I would say to them, can you commit? This is a great little momentum. If you are a leader of a small or large team, I love to take a a running group. It's kind of like I used to get up at five in the morning long ago and I had a little running group. And trust me when I tell you, I would have never run six miles at 5 a.m. alone. Nobody likes to go alone. So find your running group for momentum sidelines, count two. And get on a Zoom together. Commit to, we're going to get on a Zoom for 15 minutes a day, and we are going to report back. Here's what we're doing today to build our business. Here's our content. Here's the engagement. Here's how we're reaching out. Here's what we're inviting to. Ready, set, go. Here are the results. And the way that I would start that Zoom is have somebody start with an affirmation about the run, okay? That is always a great a great way to start those Zooms. So getting into momentum. That was a lot. But when you want to get back into momentum, I really want you to be able to dissect what will have you have success and then just go for it. Don't just say, I'm gonna have one launch party. I'm going to have one launch event. Start to think about how many different ways can you have conversations? Can you get as many people started? If you were to be able to get 10, 15, 20 new people started on your product because you were willing to go, you were willing to do a few things that you weren't normally willing to do, you are going to see massive momentum. So get out of your comfort zone. Like I remember that I was like, I'll never do an event. I'll never set up an event, which was silly because every single time that I get out of my comfort zone, that I go and I I set up at a, a table at a hospital once that was just meeting some of the people that were working in the hospital that had an interest and this was a long time ago, like I was, it was a long time ago that way before this network marketing business, but I set up with another business and I literally met somebody that completely shifted and changed my life because of that moment. So trust your instincts, trust the idea that there are so many different ways to build and grow momentum, but make sure that you have it written down. Here are the activities that I'm going to do. This is what has made me money. And this is what makes me money. And stop looking for somebody else to give you the answer. I think you already know the answer. I know that you know how to have success. I know that you know success means having a conversation with someone that finds out their pain and frustration and then just having the confidence. Remember, it's about confidence and energy and vibration and having the true belief that you can help them. And with this belief comes courage to start again comes courage to show up to that Zoom, to show up on social media, to start planning your stories so that you can share your passion for building a business that creates options for people's families. People need to see what you're doing. They need to see your excitement. They need to have you educate, inform, and validate. And it all starts with tomorrow. It starts with what will you do? How will you start your day? How will you plan that block of time for the income producing activities and how will you get back into action to create the momentum? That is my question for you. And you know what? Instead of tomorrow, let's do it today. I'm gonna give you a challenge right now that puts you back into momentum. I want you to do three things. First of all, I want you to take a deep breath in and deep breath out and say, I am in momentum. My business is moving forward with faith and clarity. I cannot wait to see new leads, new people, new customers, new business builders coming my way. So we've got that affirmation or create one that feels better for you, whatever it is, but create the affirmation. And then let's take some serious action this afternoon or later on this evening. I want you to just have three conversations with someone that you have talked to about your business before. Touch back with an invite, touch back with just a, hey, I wanted to share this with you and give you an update. Give some updates check in with some team members. Go ahead and find out what's happening this week for your team. Get on a Zoom. Get 
back interested in what is happening with the business, get back into momentum by raising your energy, your vibration, and then take some action. Imperfect action is better than no action at all. And I will share this with you as I always do. The most imperfect action, the most imperfect invites, the most imperfect ways have brought me the most income producing activity because it was just going. It was jumping in the pool and starting to swim before it was perfect. So let's get you back into momentum. I'd also love for you to reach out to me in the DMs to let me know your questions. Let me know how it's going. We have a lot of these activities over in Camp Elevate. And the other exciting announcement I have for you is that we have a launch live event, meaning I am going to walk you through five straight days of setting up the perfect launch and relaunch. That is a lot of this information, but we get very, very specific about the steps to take, about the messaging, about the follow-up, all the things, every single detail you could want is going to be put out in this free challenge. And you can get on the list, bethholdengraves.com forward slash money. It's going to take place in a pop-up Facebook group, five straight days. You'll have a workbook, you'll have all the things, and you will walk away with many new leads. What I know can be multiple customers, if not some business builders. So get on that list and I can't wait to work with you. We're gonna do that at the end of March. If you're listening to this on replay, just reach out to me and say, hey, I I heard this. It was three months after the fact because I will have videotapes of that actual launch event so that you can watch the replay. But you wanna get in live because there's going to be some giveaways, including a scholarship into the Profit Her Way Mastermind the next round. And if you have not seen what's happening in Profit Her Way, I encourage you to check out some of the testimonials that come in the weekly email that announces this podcast. And I usually put them up in Camp Elevate as well. So as always, thank you for being with me today. I hope that you found something tangible, a strategy that you can take away. And I want you to be you bravely. Have courage. You can do this. I believe in you. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today on You're Not the Boss of Me. I'm hoping that you found one thing that you will do today that will allow you to move forward to that big audacious goal. And I have a favor to ask of you, and that is leaving me a five-star review over in iTunes. Every single week, I read your reviews. I love hearing what you have to say, and it allows me to bring you more to get more people to interview that are doing the thing, breaking the glass ceilings, creating what they crave, and helping you with your game plan. So leave me a five-star review, and when you do, I enter you to win the You're Not the Boss of Me swag. So make sure you leave it, and we'll reach out to you if you're the winner. Thanks so much for hanging with me today, and we'll chat with you soon.